we know the power of poetry. It for music, it's almost as though when poetry doesn't do justice to what how you feel, then there's the music that comes to the rescue. Let's talk more about this in terms of、um, the characteristics of, of music from each country. Doesn't matter what the composers of each countries they composed, but they always inputted some traditional elements in it. Now, when I even when we talk about Chinese very classic violin concerto, Butterfly Lovers, when you hear it, it's like just like you imagine yourself sitting somewhere in I don't know in a Chinese environment and enjoying all this、uh, lake and then you know having some tea and stuff. And the same with Armenian music.、Uh, let's say one of the composers, Hacha Durian, when he wrote the violin concerto. It's a Western play by violin, right? But then it's so Armenian. When you hear, you hear yourself probably with the surrounded by Armenian men dancing around you, and then those beautiful women with clothes. So what I'm thinking is like similarities between those cultures is that we carry the identity for other generations. We don't compose for general public. We compose for general public with showing our authenticity. Which helps us to carry these cultures for so long. That was beautiful, Jashin. Do you think music has an identity? I totally can remember when I was in middle school. It's my first time playing outside, and not in China. And I chose one piece about Chopin, and another piece about Chinese piece,、uh, Shan Dan Dan Kai Hua Hong Yan Yan. So it's my first time play these two different music in outside. And I cannot understand like why people after I play the Chinese piece, they stand up and give me really big pop. So in that moment, I feel really get the touch feeling. And so from that moment, I really think I need to play more about Chinese music.、So、when I came back, I did a lot of、um, crossover. Like I can play with our who and play with jazz people. And so I, I think culture really can. Do exchange and can combine together. 